A lot of people have these things. Intex saltwater pool chlorinator. If you have it for a little while, this low salt light comes on. When that light comes on, it's not making chlorine. You clean this, and you clean this. You check the salt level, get the salt right, try again, try again, clean it again, soak it again, light's still on, not making chlorine. Well, i show you what I'm trying to do to try to fix the thing. There's no no diagrams, no, no nothing, no, no nothing else on YouTube on this. Well, I figured I'd take it apart, see what's going on. First thing I did was turn it on, check voltage here, here. Has 12 volts for about a minute, and the light comes on, it shuts off. Okay, I'm going to take it apart. Two screws down in there, wiggle it out to the side, that comes off. Turn on the bottom, you got eight screws, little screws all around the edge. They come out easy enough. They top off. Now be careful, you got this wire plugged in over here. You got to remove that, put that aside. Now you look at this board, well first look here, that's a hefty transformer, so it's putting a lot of juice into them plates, but it's controlled by that diode, and it goes into that board. Now I started looking around the board, now I'm no genius at electronics, I know a little bit, and some of these things don't look quite like what I'm used to. But that is a fuse. And I took the diode tester, the, the ohm meter, put it across, and that was good. Come over here, and there's another fuse. Says, oh, it must be a blown fuse. Maybe that's the problem. Check that. That's good. Okay, you're able to test for about a minute for your voltage, and you get 12 volts going into this board off of these two lines. And coming out, you get, for the first minute, you get it coming out of these two lines, then it starts off. Okay, I look, I know these are relays. And for general fixing of electronics, you look over the board. You see any swollen capacitors? Don't see any. See any burn marks on the board? Don't see any. Okay. A lot of times, a relay will go bad. I don't know on this unit, but on other things that I've worked on, it was always the relay that was bad. Got the numbers off it. Put it into my DuckDuckGo on the computer. Come up with a site. And guess what? eBay had it. You got five of them for about $11. Ordered them. These look like relays too. Don't know what they would be for, but looked on eBay. Hey, they were there too. Another five of them for $10. Okay. I've ordered them. A couple weeks they'll be here, and I'll be ready to desolder these and see if it's going to work. You know, I would just buy a new one, but the thing is $200. And it makes sense because the price of chlorine has gone sky high. But I'm not ready to go buying. A $200 unit that only lasts a year and a half, two years. If I could fix it, I'll be way ahead. And I think maybe I can. 
when I put these relays in, I'll make another video. I'm not going to make a detailed video of uh, soldering and desoldering. There's lots of videos for that. But I'll just make another video. If I get any views on this, if I get views, likes, comments, I'll let you know if operation success or wasted my time. So, like and subscribe. Make a comment. Bring the bell. And uh, see you in the next video, maybe.